right, Uncle Sam FM here. We are going to do a bonus episode because, I don't know, I thought this might be an interesting little occasion. So uh, I'm going to be taking on Stuttgart in a friendly, right? It's not a, it's not a real match. It doesn't mean anything at all, and I'm, I'm not overly concerned about it. It's just kind of unique. And also, I sort of wanted to, um, I wish I would have, I wish I would have live commed it. But we played Atlanta and had just a remarkable win. It was, I mean, if you've seen the last video, you saw where I uh, beat Columbus and moved on to the quarterfinal where I played against Atlanta United. And, and um, it was quite the match. So let me just set it up, first of all. Nashville and Atlanta, they are going to be rivals. Right, this is going to be a rivalry. It's kind of a regional rivalry. Um, they're, I mean, they're not like close. It's not, I wouldn't call it a derby, right, or derby, but it's, it's, they are two of the teams that are closer together in MLS. So, first of all, <clears throat> uh, I had this preseason match against Atlanta United in the ATX uh, Pro Challenge, which is a preseason friendly. Dominated the game, outshot them twenty to three. Even had possession numbers higher against them, which Atlanta is very much a control the uh, ball kind of team. So, um, but couldn't finish. They got the winner in the hundred fourteenth minute. So it was an intense game. So now we move, we fast forward to this Open Cup match, and. Uh, possession wise it was it, well as a whole the whole game was a lot closer <clears throat> Atlanta comes out scores in the ninth minute I equalized and we'll just I'll tell you what we'll just we'll see the goals so let me <clears throat> do that yeah let me pause it and we'll put it on the director view I like to watch highlights on director view so here you see Castillo cross, and and that was Sarkodi got um, my right back. Um, Bacellus was on international duty. I had three guys in international duty, so I really did not expect to have any chance. So I played Sarkodi, and he was. <laughs> I told you guys he was not ready for MLS play. I he was he's not going to be on the team next season. He's really just there for depth, and so I had him uh, in this match. I had to kind of had to play him. And he gets, you know, gets skinned on that goal, and we're down one to nothing. But then Mukhtar on a free kick bends it around the. Uh, let's watch that again. Um, see if I can slow it down just a wee bit. He bends it around the. Uh, if you watch, he'll bend it around the wall, slips it just past Guzan, and so we've equalized. So it's one to one. Game goes back and forth. Um, as you can tell, like look, we both want possession. We're both possession teams. It's like if Barcelona was playing against itself, and we uh, it's close. We have a 51-49 edge, but we go into extra time, and in the first period of extra time, once again, uh, no, that wasn't Sarkozy this time, was it? Anyway, they they take the lead, two to one. So I'm kind of like, I don't know what to do, right? I'm down two to one now. Don Lottie and, and Leal were, he, obviously, they were getting fatigued. So I just said, hey, I'm, I start throwing guys forward. I go with my uh, chase um, tactical instructions. And in the 97th minute, I sub in both my wingers, right? I bring in Alan Wynn and Baji, who are not great, but they were fresh, they had fresh legs. So right before the end of the first extra time i get the ball we have the ball here and again we're 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 in our chase mode and when slips that shot right under guzan's left side and we equalize and you guys already can see what happened so we come right out of the break after the first extra time and baji here gets it to win who crosses to the far post and heads it in we take the lead. Obviously, I you know go to my uh, shut up shop setting, and we hold on, and we got a very intense, very exciting three to two win. Uh, then the next match, we had a friendly against Boca, and we uh, early on it was close, but the second half I ran them off the pitch. We scored four goals to in the second half to win five to one, 
And now we're getting ready to play Stuttgart. Uh, obviously, Stuttgart is not Dortmund. They're not even Bayern. But I thought it might be kind of, um, I don't know, a decent little bonus episode uh, to take them, take on Stuttgart and show you guys the results of the, um, the Atlanta game. So here we go. Stuttgart, this is the team that, you know, they're not going to win the Champions League in Europe, but they could probably win MLS if they played an MLS. So just tell the guys, hey, go have fun. And, you know, we'll treat it like a little opposition instructions. Oh, I need to actually. They, uh, I, when the other team has that uh, two strikers attacking mid, I go with my 4 2 1 3 setup. Make sure the opposition instructions held. And they did. And here we go. And <clears throat> Stuttgart, um, obviously German. They, uh, I think they're Bundesliga still, right? And I'm on the director mode. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop it back to um, sideline. Godoy being uh, in a little pressure pocket there, and my midfield couldn't decide who he was supposed to go get it. We are not very sharp right now. And here's Dunlady on the left. Drops it to Lovitz, who sends it into a cam, who heads it down. Yeah, I figured they were going to give that to That's an own goal by the goalkeeper. It was one of those it, it uh, doinks off the post, but it hits the goalkeeper's back or the back of his head, maybe. Cam heads it. Yeah, hits his back and rolls across the line. So they give it to the goalkeeper, even though Cam did the work. Um, so, all right. Yeah, it's going to start off with a one nothing lead. Good way to kick this game off. And we got another highlight to Leal here. Leal crosses it in. A cam tries to head it across the goal to the far corner, but the goalkeeper makes the save. And we're moving the ball pretty well. See, I found that um, in this, I don't know, maybe, maybe you guys are thinking I'm an idiot. Or, oh, nice shot by McCarty. 2-0 on Stuttgart. Uh, I had a chance to play Celtic. Um, I had a choice when I set this friendly up. Either Celtic or Stuttgart. Uh, Stuttgart gave me more money. That's just plain and simple why I chose them. Um, so yeah, with the two mid, two defensive mids, uh, I just I don't know. I found that that they work the ball. You've got like a a square, right? I have the square. <laughs> Cam takes it off the defender, puts it in the back of the jar, three nil. So I guess we're gonna kind of run away with this one. Um, but you've got a square. Like I have a square playing against a triangle. So theoretically somebody kind of should always be open right and uh they do have the two center mids there and you most most of the time you play against that one two uh triangle in the front you, they do have two center mids behind but one of those guys are gonna have to and we have another goal man we are absolutely shredding stuttgart now this pr it would be early preseason for them so it, this is not absolutely shocking. You know, early preseason against a team that's not dominant. Um, so if, yeah, if if one of those two guys behind that attacking triangle gets pulled up, that just opens up more space for Mukhtar to find. So, and, um, you know, then you got, you got your wing backs and the wingers. So it just, I've found anyway, it, you know, playing for playing possession. Ooh, header to Willis. Uh, it just kind of works better. I'm going to demand more from those guys, make them tighten up a little back there. All right, so, you know, that's <laughs> what that is, is that's clinical. All right, that was a clinical half. Only eight shots, but four goals to show for it. That's pretty good. Um, possession wise, not great, but, you know. Uh, what I'm going to do, first of all, tell them they did a good job. 
and I'm just going to sub everybody, you know, for nothing. Why risk? My first team was in there, so why risk injury? Uh, we're trying, we, we've got a cup run going, and, you know, we don't want to be too stupid. So we'll let, um, we'll let these guys have a chance to play against a, you know, not, I wouldn't say a, major European team, but it is kind of an event. <clears throat> so I'll let the all guys and that game against Boca I did the same pretty much the same thing. Um my second team started and played most of the game. About well they played about sixty minutes and then I started subbing. All twenty three guys that I brought um played. And here we go on a counter. Win. Do I have win on the left? We should be on the right. I think I do have that set up that way. Yeah, that should not be. I need to. I need to fix that. So I don't know how that happened. I just wasn't paying attention when I made my subs. Oh, and win on the free kick. Oh, but they're gonna disallow it. Maher is a guy. Yeah, he's. I don't know what to do about Maher. Um, he is a decent prospect, but he's got a vision of two and a tackling of 11. My scout rates him high. My assistant rates him high. I don't understand what are you bringing to the table if, like, a two, he started with a one, right? When I think I showed him in an earlier episode. He had a one vision. So it's like he's out there playing with a blindfold on. And so he, he does no good with the ball at his feet. But then he also has a, his tackling is only 11. And there's a fifth goal there. Baji gets one to make it five. Uh, we'll go ahead and tell the guys, hey, good job, praise, whatever. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, you're just not bringing much to the table if I can't get those attributes up. So I might, I might let him play with the team next year. But I tell you what, he's a guy that I'm going to look to trade. Right? If the scouts are rating him high, that means he'll be kind of an asset that hopefully somebody will want. But for me, he's just not bringing much to the table. <clears throat> if you can't tackle and you can't pass, then what good of a center back are you? Baji with another goal. That makes it six, right? Yep, six. Mola tried to tackle, just couldn't pull it off, and so... Go to the far post, and Baji easily beats the keeper. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring in my last sub here, Johnston, who is a... <clears throat> Johnston is not even registered, but he's, uh, yeah, he's playing with the two team. But I figured I'd put him on the bench. Let him get a few... Let him get a little run out. Baji crosses to win, who almost gets a goal. It's kind of uh, Baji was trying to return the favor. He helped win score a couple times, and there we have another goal. And it's another own goal. I, you know, I guess I'm sorry. This was supposed to be like an. A, I thought maybe this would be an exciting game. Cause I, I thought Stuttgart would be bringing more than this, but they've really not even gotten off the bus. <laughs> they did not want to come to Nashville. Hey, there's good ribs in Nashville, right? We make good like, in Nashville's they it's good ribs all over the place. And you know, I'm not really a fan of country music. Like I actually kind of really hate it, but hey, you know, it's something unique, right? There's all kinds of little pubs and such. All right, I'll be honest. Nashville kind of sucks. I do not like Nashville very much at all. <laughs> the city of Nashville. <laughs> But you know, like I said, they do. There are some joints with good ribs. But Stuttgart apparently did not want to be here, as they got ran off the pitch seven to nothing. To be fair, they probably were not very fit. Um. So yeah, kind of a disappointment of a bonus episode. I thought it would be a little better than that, and but Stuttgart did not uh, cooperate. I guess I should have went with Celtic. That might have been uh, more interesting. 
Um, all right, so this is uh, Uncle Sam FM. I'll sign off of my Iron Manager series. We um, got Minnesota United in the cup in the quarterfinal. I probably won't show that one. I feel like I need to get a little further in. So probably won't show it unless we make it to the final, which is unlikely. If I don't make it to the final, I'll probably bring you back for this game against Memphis at Memphis. That's kind of a rival. They're an in-state rival. Memphis is in Tennessee, as is Nashville. So um, we'll come back for that. Sort of a Tennessee Derby, volunteer state Derby. But this is uh, Uncle Sam FM signing off. I'll see you next time.